Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to study a novel by Agatha Christie and then there were none. It's a gothic fiction and it is even a murder mystery. So let's begin. The author of this novel is Agatha Christie. The year in which it is published is 1939. It is a, it's a, it is a novel, not a short story not a novella but it is a novel the genre of this novel is kind of a drama fiction murder mystery and crime and thrill the perspective and the narrator is it is it has been narrated by a third person point of view and there are occasional interior monologues interior monologues are considered to be uh, like uh, jab लोग एक इंसान अपने बार अपने साथ ही सोच रहा होता है दैट इज कॉल्ड इंटीरियर मोनोलॉग्स द टाइटल ऑफ द नावल हैज़ बीन टेकन फ्राम एंड देन देर वर नन इज एक्चुअली अ लाइन द लास्ट लाइन ऑफ द पोम नर्सरी राइम ठीक है इसको टेन लिटल इंडियंस भी कहते हैं एंड देन फर्दर डिटेल्स आई टेल यू वाइल वी कीप ऑन स्टार्टिंग The whole story revolves around these characters. There are ten characters in the novel, and there are even the minor characters. उनकी past में बताते हैं कि what happens and what does not happen. So these characters, basically the ten characters, are the central characters on which the whole novel is based on. Let's study each character and let's unfold this mystery. The first character is Justice Wargrave. He is Uh, known to be a judge and then a hanging judge and is supposed to be the sixth in the row to die and is actually murdered by his own hands on his own hands by the tenth number now i'll explain later on what happens in the story and what does not happen vira klaton is the last guest known to be the tenth in the row by hanging herself after shooting philip lombard and she is hired as a governess of mr owen Philip Lombard he has remained a captain and he thinks he has been hired to keep an eye on the guest he does carry a revolver and he is the ninth in the row to die he is shot by Vera Clathorn by his own gun Mr Blore he is he has remained an ex inspector as a police officer he carries a fake identity as Mr Davis and later on he discloses his original identity on the island Mr Blore is actually the eighth in the row to die and is hit by a marble bear clock on his head Dr Armstrong he is a doctor he is a surgeon and firmly trusts just a war grave and he dies by drowning in the sea he is seventh in the row to die actually in the story just a war grave uses dr armstrong for his own killing in the while he dies he fakes his death in the sixth row and uh, later on he while he kills everybody and he is actually the last or the 10th guy or the 10th guest who dies by his own hand hunt rogers rogers are hired to be the to like be the butler in that island in that mansion and he is having even um, his wife with himself she is a proficient cook Roger is a very efficient butler on Ireland and he has never been his uh, employer and becomes fourth person to die by an axe blow on to his head. Mr Owen is the mysterious author of the invitation of the Indian island customized for each victim to get them to agree to visit. He is never seen and remains okay unknown. He remains unknown. His name is a pun on the word. until it is revealed at the end of the novel that justice wargrave was mr owen ethel roger she is the merc and a terrified cook the wife of the butler butler matlab servant who faints when she when the voice on the recorder says and her husbands are murders she becomes the second person to die by the overdose of sleeping medicine Mrs Brent is an elderly aged woman she is fifth in the row to die and she dies of a toxic injection that is injected in her neck general macarthur he is the third in the row to die he is already ready to die because he gets an insight about his uh, murders he has no hope for his living 
and therefore all even at the end of the novel everybody dies so yeah anthony marston he is a rich handsome and isn't guilty about hitting two people or children by a rash driving he is first to die by this is a poison potassium cyanide this was added in his drink or wine isaac morris the person who sells the indian island on justice wargrave and hires philip lombard over a hundred guineas to do what mr owen asks him to do now what does past killings mean it means ye jo 10 guests hain aaye hain island mein aur inka murder hoga to iske piche ek reason bhi to hoga na ki kyun murder ho raha hai no it means ki in logo ne past mein koi aise killing murder ya kuch aisa kiya hua hai logo ke saath aur inko saza nahi mili hui to justice warrior was mr owen right usne ye sara plan kiya hai and uh, to kill them theek hai because inko इनको सज़ा नहीं मिली हुई ये कोर्ट के थ्रू या पुलिस के थ्रू बच गए थे किसी न किसी तरह से पास्ट में दैट्स वाई जस्टिस वाग्रेफ इज इवन कंसिडर्ड एज अ साडस्ट साडस्ट इज़ अ पर्सन हु इन्फ्लिक्ट पेन ऑन अदर्स एंड सीक्स प्लेजर आउट ऑफ इट इस तरह भी इनको इस ये ऐसे ही मासूम लोगों को नहीं मारना चाहता था तो लोगों को मार के इसको सुकून मिलता है इसीलिए इसने ऐसे लोगों को ढूंढा है कि जिसने इवन पास्ट में बहुत ख़राब काम किए हैं या लोगों को हर्ट किया है या लोगों को मार दिया है किसी न किसी तरह डिलिब्रेटली और इंटेंशनली और अन ठीक है आर्मी टेज इज़ अ सोल्जर अंडर जनरल मैकैथर्स कमांड जनरल मकार्टर के नीचे एक बंदा था और इसने नोइंगली इस बंदे को भेजा था जंग के लिए और जनरल मकार्टर को पता था कि ही विल गेट किल्ड इन इट बैट गेट बर्कले इज अ फ्रेंड ऑफ एंटनी मार्स्टन एंड सपोज द ऑथर हु सेंड टू मार्स्टन इन्विटेशन टू आईलैंड असल में मिस्टर ओवन ने सेंड की थी इन्विटेशन बट मिस्टर ओवन यूज मोस्ट नेम्स ऑफ पीपल ठीक है जैसे कि एंटनी मार्स्टन के फ्रेंड का नाम यूज़ करके इसको इन्वाइट किया गया था और ख़ुद को इन्वाइट किया है इसने लेडी कॉन्स्टेंस कर्मिंगटन के नाम से शी वॉज अ फ्रेंड ऑफ जस्टिस वॉर ग्रिफ नो आई होप यू पीपल आर गेटिंग इट अबाउट दिस के जस्टिस वॉर ग्रिफ ने ये सारा प्लान बनाया था ही फेक्ड एवरी थिंग आउट अच्छा रॉजर्स को इसीलिए एज अ सर्वेंट रखा था या एज अ बटलर रखा था इथाइल रॉजर और रॉजर को बिकॉज क्योंकि इन लोगों ने अपने पास्ट में लेडी ब्रांडी को की टेक केयर के लिए ये लो इन लोगों को हायर किया गया था और देन अच्छा शी इज़ एन एल्डरली वुमेन हु डाइज अंडर द रॉजर्स केयर ड्यूरिंग अ बैड स्टॉम ठीक है उस टाइम पे बहुत मौसम ख़राब था बारिश हो रही थी तूफ़ानी बारिश थी एंड uh, वो मर गई थी इनकी इनने उसकी ठीक से केयर नहीं की थी ठीक है द नेक्स्ट लेडी इज़ लुइस क्लीस तो आम स्ट्रॉन्ग तो डॉक्टर था तो आम स्ट्रॉन्ग ने तब इसकी इसको ऑपरेट किया इस औरत को या लड़की को वेन ही वॉज ड्रंक फर्दर वी हैव द कैरेक्टर ऑफ जॉन कॉम्स ही इज़ वन ऑफ द टू चाइल्ड एंटनी मार्स्टन हिट विद स्कार्स वाइल्ड ही वॉज पीटिंग एंड लूसी कॉम्स इज़ वन ऑफ द टू चाइल्ड एंटनी मार्स्टन हिट वेन ही वॉज पीटिंग दीज आर द टू चाइल्ड विच एंटनी मार्स्टन ड्यू टू ओवर स्पीडिंग ही Uh, killed them and then even antony marston was not even scared of anything not was not even found guilty therefore uh, just as wargrave decided and made a plan to uh, gather up all these characters uh, and people and to punish them individually now again we have the character of lady constant kenblington she was a friend of just as wargrave whose name he uses as an author of the letter supposedly inviting him to the indian island so she was the uh, a friend a very good friend of justice worker when he just uses her name for inviting his own self uh, yeah now here we get to know that what veera clathon did in her past that she is now in this indian island she has been invited for some particular reason first we'll study cyril helmington cyril helmington was hugo hamilton's little nephew who 
whom Vera Clathan led to the ocean and later drowned. So Hugo Helminton was a person to whom Vera Clathan wanted to marry. Now Vera Clathan wanted to marry Hugo Hamilton. He couldn't marry her because Cyril Hamilton would inherit the family fortune instead of him and he wouldn't be able to support her without the inheritance. So this was the reason Vera Clathan, just as Wargrave thought that Vera Clathan should be guilty of her actions but uh, she didn't do her deliberately and he died of drowning. Vera was guilty of her actions but she was not given any punishments. Now the next we have James Landor. He was a brand robber against whom ex-inspector Bloor gives evidences and sends him to prison for life where he dies. Now here Justice Wargrave thinks that Mr. Bloor did a wrong action and for that reason he was innocent. Uh, the person who went to jail and uh, Mr. Bloor should get a punishment for that. Beatrice Trailer is Mrs. Miss Brint's maid. She was her maid and she was fired by Mr. Mrs. Miss Brint for getting pregnant. Why? Because uh, she was unmarried and they, they do follow. Uh, they have the religion of Christianity and uh, what if they follow uh, Catholics? Therefore, uh, Miss Brint was kind of a religious woman and she thought that this lady had done a very wrong thing therefore she fires her and in that uh, stormy weather she uh, dies so here just a sword griff think that miss brind had done a very cruel thing to that pregnant lady now actually the novel and then there were none is based on this nursery rhyme it is even called as a poem it consists of 10, uh, ten uh, couplets and in each couplet it shows the murder of each person so this is the nursery rhyme okay a poem that is hanging on the wall on each room where the guest stays now with each guest room they have the this poem hanging on the wall the Vera was a Vera Clathon was the first person to notice this uh, poem hanging on the wall the poem is also known as Ten Little Indians. Ten figure-like statues are placed on the dining table which uh, the ten guests notice it later on while they are done with the uh, lunch, dinner or whatever. One by one each gets murdered unknowingly each st statue gets misplaced and the guest gets worried the whole settle and uh, the whole settle and murders get through this poem and this nursery rhyme guests get to realize this later but then it is too late the murder begins now here we we go start with the summary or how the plot goes the guests or nine visitors are coming up to the island for different reasons Described in their personal letters, which each of them had, either from a supposed friend or any friend's acquaintance, or few were told to have a free vacation for a few days in a luxury mansion on an Indian island. All the eight fellows sat in the boat and Fred Narakot, who was supposed to drop them to the island and return back each day with food supplies, but he never reappears. He never comes back. Now, secondly, the butler or the uh, Mr. Rogers or Mrs. Rogers or the Rogers directs each guest to their rooms as they were instructed by Mr. Owen. Vera Clathon was the first person to find the nursery rhyme hanging on the wall of her room. As the guests are all relaxing after dinner, they notice there are ten figurines of little Indians on the table. Later on, they realize that these are the uh, rhyme that they later realize that the rhyme is hanging in each room of the mansion. Now it is quite simple and easy. I have written it in easy words. I hope you people got it. Now we will discover how one by one through this nursery rhyme or poem, how a person or each person or each guest yeah, gets murdered. Anthony Marston swallows his drink down as he talks and jokes to death. Now the first line of the poem is, Ten little Indians went out to dine. One joked his little self and then there were nine. So the first person who died was Anthony Marston, who, if you will remember, killed two children or two people with his rash driving 
or uh, while he was speeding and he was not even guilty so this was his punishment which was given by just a swore grave to him so dr armstrong who was a doctor discovers there are potassium cyanide in marston marston drinks after everyone gets to their room roger noticed that one of the figures is missing now you see that a statue on that dining table went missing now who picked it up nobody knows till the very end the next morning he discovers that Ms. mr rogers uh, miss rogers has died in her sleep from an overdose of chloro uh, chloral hydrate in her brandy like in her whiskey just as in the rhyme second scheme it says nine little indians indian boy sat a plate and one overslept himself and then there were eight so here mrs rogers dies he is the second who is the wife of mr roger the next morning another figure goes missing from the dining table and rogers are ter- rogers terrified points out points this out to dr armstrong that it continues in accordance with each stanza of the nursery rhyme which provides a clue along the way as to who the killer may be or at least who helps the killer theek hai na everybody there were there were only 10 guests and uh, which uh, in in those 10 guests there were two rogers who were considered to be the servants and now everybody you got suspicious about each other The third in the row to die is General MacArthur. General MacArthur turns turns up and dead next, hit on the back of the head with a life saver. Now the nursery rhyme here goes like this: Eight little Indian boys traveling in Devon. One said he would stay there, and there were seven. So in the story, actually happened that um, even Vira Clathorn went to General MacArthur, and he was sitting on the edge of the uh, he was sitting on the edge of the sea. or a hill uh, because in the novel it has been stated a sea but uh, in the movie it ha- it is shown that he is sitting on a hill then okay so he refused to come inside and the next moment uh, every guest gets the news that general macarthur is dead so next we are having here again roger point out to vera that another figure has disappeared just as war grief says Owen must be one of the remaining guests they they all go through the evidence for each death and begin to accuse each other like wo ek dusre ko blame dete hain mrs miss brent's knitting wool goes missing and then a red bath tub curtain disappears the guest go to the bed and rogers knocks the figures in hoping that will stop the person taking them the next morning the figure is is gone like it's missing and then guest find rogers in the wash uh, wash house where he had been chopping up dead from an axe wood to the uh, head the rhyme goes like this Seven little Indian boys chopping up sticks. One chopped his himself in half, and then there were six. So then, so the next person who died was Mr. Uh, justice Wargrave, who was a justice as a hanging judge. Now he faked his death in this novel. The next to go is Miss Brent, who begins to feel giddy after breakfast, hearing a buzz in her ear, and sees a dumbbell be on the window. The next verse of the rhyme is six little Indian boys playing with a hive. uh pumble be stung one and then there were five so here actually miss print was uh, she was uh, she got injection on her neck she was stung with that and now it the bumble bee is represented as an injection which was um, she was injected in her neck now that injection did contain poisonous potassium cyanide now let's read ahead something that feels to her like a sting but is actually a syringe filled with potassium chloride cyanide kills miss brind apparently someone stole the syringe from dr armstrong philip lombard the revolver goes missing the missing items return As the day proceeds somebody puts seaweed in Vera Clathorn's room which makes her think of the drowning she encountered and she faints after she comes to everybody notice just as wargrave is missing they find him sitting in his chair wearing the red silk curtain like a robe with a judge's wig made by made from miss brint's wool on his head dr armstrong lifts the wig and something red drizzles out of, out the doctor's announces to everybody 
the judge has been shot the next verse in the rhyme makes sense five little indian boys going in for the law one got in chancery and then there were four now chancery is something when uh, a person in the court applies the principles of equity like something that enables into equality chancery is a court of equity including trust law land law and states and it looks like justice walker has gotten his just rewards later this night when everybody in their rooms philip lombard discovers his revolver back in his room ex expector mr blur hears footsteps outside his home and alerts every everyone else but dr armstrong has disappeared There are only three figures left on the dining table. Vera thinks Doctor Armstrong has fooled them and is alive on the island because the next rhyme is like this: Four little Indians going out to sea, a red herring swallowed one, and then there were three. So this indicates that Doctor Armstrong got killed in the seashore. But here it indicates a red herring is a phrase that means a false, misleading clue. This. they search but they cannot find it out suspicions abound now this is the last part of the summary or the story or the plot so suspicions about the next day ex- mr inspector blur goes back to the home to get food he is killed by the marble pier shaped clock in vera's room while vera and philip lombard are unwillingly to go back to home because they rush back only when they hear blur's cry three indian three little indian boys walking in the zoo are clear being watched and vera thinks it's dr armstrong doing it the clock is a big bear who hugged one and then there were two philip lombard goes back to the edge of the cliff near and the water the vera sees mr dr armstrong's body and he is drowned a rock below She thinks that since Philip Lombard is the only one left he is going to kill her so she snatches his revolver and shoots him the next line of the rhyme is two little indian boys sitting sitting in the sea one god frizzled up and then there were one so now vera thinks philip lombard was the only one who killed everybody and now he is the remaining one who will kill vera platon as well but her guilt about the child she was drowned the child who was in the way of her marriage to her lover makes vera suicidal she goes to her room and discovers a noose and a chair in a fit of despair and self imposed justice she thinks her lover wants her to inflict she hangs herself and then the rhyme says one little indian boy left alone they went out and hanged she, he went out and hanged himself and then there were none so here the story ends Here the story ends, but in the movie it was shown as if Justice Wargrave enters the room of the Vera Clathon while she hangs herself, and then Vera asks for justice. She uh, even apologizes for her behavior, but then because uh, Justice Wargrave is considered to be uh, a hanging judge, and he is even known as the saddest, a person who uh, gets pleasure, who who seeks pleasure while inflicting pain on others. So uh, while he was looking at Vera. dying he really got pleasure out of it and later on then he makes a setting to confuse everybody and he kills himself while placing two glasses on the dining table while he shoots himself the uh, gun revolves around the dining table on the other side the story and thank you so much if you like my video please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you so